According to Fox News, Michael Moore lashes out at Biden and says he's leading America into World War III. Quote, this is your legacy? Wow. It's almost as if Michael Moore is surprised that Joe Biden is, is a warmonger. Progressive filmmaker and activist Michael Moore accused President Biden of ruining his legacy and leading America in the World War III in a scathing open letter to the president. Well, let's see what Mr. Biden has to say about your letter. Moore, who told Biden last month he could leave the White House as a hero by ending aid to Israel and forgiving all student loan debt and medical debt, once again addressed Biden in a letter published to his substack on Saturday. This time, Moore attacked Biden for not heeding his request and going in the opposite direction. It's almost as if the president even doesn't, he doesn't even know you're alive, Michael Moore. <laughs> it's almost as if when you give him advice, he literally cannot hear you. Quote, my suggestions were all about cementing your status as a great, <laughs> great president, about shaping your legacy, making you an unforgettable figure. Oh, He's going to go down in history as an unforgettable figure. Trust me, that's already happened. Okay, he has already joined the company of Jimmy Carter. Okay, he will go down in history as a very, very unforgettable president in the pantheon of all 44 white men who presided over this country before you and also your former boss. You, on the other hand, seem to be trying to submit your legacy as a warmonger, doubling down on some of your worst mistakes and worst impulses, Michael. Wow, well, hold on a second. You mean to tell me, Michael Moore, that you didn't know he was a warmonger? Because this actually belies that. You already knew about his worst impulses. In fact, hang on a second. From the New York Times in October 2020, uh, sorry, 2002, he, want, he was one of the 77 senators who gave President George W. Bush the authority to use force in Iraq. He is still trying to explain that choice. He's a warmonger. And by the way, what, 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 why does he care? So I'll ask again, what are you doing? He asks. Well, he's bringing us into World War III. It's, it's not a secret. B because the people who own him told him to do that. You see, Michael Moore, you're making the mistake that many in your position make. You think he's beholden to the American people, and he isn't. He's beholden to the people that gave him money to get into the White House in the first place. And those people, the military industrial complex and others, really don't give a crap about whether or not he goes into war. In fact, it is their preference to go into war because it's good for their bottom line. And you voted for him? See, this even, these, these progressives, man, it, just, it drives me bananas. When you voted for him, you knew he was a warmonger. Look what he says. He says at the, at the very end here, um, you, on the other hand, seem to be trying to cement your legacy as a warmonger, doubling down on some of your worst mistakes and worse impulses. Michael Moore knew he was a warmonger. And now he's trying to pretend, well, I'm going to, I'm going to call him out for it. Well, 
Michael, did you tell us to vote for calamity? Because I think you did. And when asked if she would change anything, she says, nothing comes to mind. These, these so-called progressives, man, this is not progress, by the way. Moore said Biden was dragging America into foreign conflict instead of helping the American people during his final days in office by authorizing the delivery of weapons to Ukraine, allowing Ukraine's military to use U.S. provided long range missiles on targets inside deep inside Russian territory and signing off on sending anti-personnel mines, anti-personnel mines. You know, it's kind of funny. All the people who say that Donald Trump is inhumane because he's going to be deporting people. He's, he's, he's so inhumane. He's, he's, he's such a horrible, horrible person. Well, what do you call this? Signing off on anti-personnel mines to Ukraine. What do you call that? Yeah, but they're, 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 they're fighting Russia. No, they're not. There was a person, you know, Joe, uh, Joe Rogan called this out and, and, and said there should be a law preventing, preventing him, Joe Biden, from doing something like that. When you know you're, you're, you're not even going to be there long enough to see the end of this, you've got weeks to go in your presidency, and now you are dragging us into World War III. He said that there should be a law against it. And then some Ukrainian boxer said that Joe was wrong. I, I'm sorry I don't have it pulled up, but he says that uh, Joe Rogan was using Putin propaganda, saying that we're being dragged into World War III by allowing Ukrainians to, to use U.S. provided long-range missiles that saying that that's a bad idea you're promoting you're propagandizing this is putin propaganda and then what he uses as evidence is putin said is going to be a three-day war this is now going in its third year and he cites that as he didn't understand our resolve. It's like, no, 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 no. It wasn't your resolve, Ukrainian, that kept you in this war for three years. It was NATO. It was the USA that kept giving you money uh, over the objections of the American people which is why Donald Trump was elected. Landmines, Joe? Seriously, this is your legacy? This is how you want to go out in a blaze of horror? Like, if Joe's got to go, we all got to go with him. Right in the World War III, he fumed. I, I love the fact that he's pretending he doesn't know that Joe Biden is a, whor a warmonger. Moore also attacked Biden administration for selling weapons to Israel and vetoing the United Nations Security Council draft resolution that demanded an unconditional ceasefire. Why would he do that? How does that help the military industrial complex? Okay, you gotta understand something. The only thing uh, the, the war machine knows is manufacturing and dollars attached to the manufacturing. I was like, dude, this, this feigning that you're now surprised that Joe Biden is what Joe Biden has always been a warmonger. Now you're, you're trying to, Feign surprise 
that the man who took $74 million from the Wall Street, from Wall Street, was somehow now surprised that he would pay them back. For those of you who don't know, this is paying them back. And so now Michael Moore wants to, I'm, I'm, I'm outraged. But you already knew he was a warmonger. So why did you vote for him in the first place? Because you and all of yours that are cut from the same ilk were suffering from Trump derangement syndrome. While Trump is out there demanding to end the war, Joe Biden, your candidate, is dragging us into World War III. There should be a law against it. There really should be. There should be a way that a, a, a president that is about to leave where you have, let's say, like you've only got 90 days to go, any, any less than that, you shouldn't be able to make any major incursions that would cost American lives. Unless, of course, we are, you know, unilaterally attacked or invaded. That, this is why I, I really never listen to the progressives. That I never take them seriously Be, because they, they lie. And he already told you, he knew Joe Biden was a warmonger, voted for him anyway. He knows that Donald Trump is calling for peace and voted against him. That's because he's suffering from Trump derangement syndrome. That's it for now. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're following me on Rumble, please press that follow button. And until the next time, God bless.